Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. Um, I see already we have somebody in our chat, so that's cool. I'm James. Uh, I play cello. If you came to my YouTube live page, uh, either from the group news page or through some other means, and you're wondering what is happening, uh, this is a group muse. Um, and so that is a sort of classical music in an informal setting. I'm going to play uh, some, some really great cello pieces for you today. Um, and before, so before already happened, but after, um, if you go back to the same uh, group news page, and I believe, I hope anyway, I put a link to it in the description of this video. Um, but if not, it's just groupmuse.com, and I'm on Larger Works for Solo Cello. Um, then, sorry, I should talk closer to the mic. It's set up for music, so. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so anyway, there's a Zoom hang afterwards. If you have any questions, I'll be there. Kyle will be there. Kyle's our wonderful MC today. And uh, if you uh, want anything answered, um, you can ask me there. You can also ask me in this YouTube. You can also ask me uh, in the YouTube chat. I'll take a peek over there from time to time uh, between pieces. I think we're gonna go pretty much straight through today. Uh, I might take a little breather between the pieces and answer if anyone had any questions, but um, otherwise, let's get into it. Let's just do some music. Let's have a nice Sunday afternoon. Uh, thank you. Thank you, everybody, for being here, um, even, even on Father's Day, uh, no less. So spending a little of your uh, Sunday with me, it's, uh, we've been talking about how gorgeous and sunny it is in different parts of the country. Um, and there's some music uh, that I'm really looking forward to playing for you. Uh, let's dive in. The first, the first thing we're doing, um, this is Bach's fourth cello suite. I love it. It maybe gets the least playtime out of all six Bach suites. I think it gets a reputation as very philosophical. I've heard it described that way. And... I think that, more than anything, makes it great music for right now. Um, one thing that Group Muse has had in their mission statement for a really long time is that they want to help us harmonize our inner and outer worlds. I think uh, artists in general have been, that's kind of a good job description for artists <laughs> over the centuries, um, but now this is something that we're all forced to deal with. Um, because of the time that we live in, I think we've all, like it or not, had more uh, inner world time, more time to stop and be with ourselves. Um, and that's why I think this is such a great Bach suite for, for right now. So I'll tell you a little um, about what's in the movements, and then I'll just go straight, straight in and just play them all. Um, there are six movements. Number one is a prelude, and... On a, it really just feels like it's going to be broken chords the whole time. Uh, it just goes through this pattern. It's just like guiding you through a pattern of harmonies. No melody, nothing. And then at a certain point, everything on a really low C sharp just breaks. It just... then all of a sudden we have a running little melody and so uh, Bach the great artist that what it means to me is him uh, breaking the barrier between inner and outer worlds and I think then after you go back you hear some of the first kind of music some of the second kind of music but you can't ever really go back to how it used to be um, there's interplay there's too much interaction uh, number two, the second movement is, by contrast, a lot less dramatic, and I think it's really like a dream state. It's just, it's just nice. It's just like a floating. And the third movement is a courant. That's from the word for running, and uh, very personal association. It seems just like microscopic. It seems like uh, uh, subatomic particles but that's my take on it. I hope maybe you guys can tell me what you hear in that one. And then after that, the fourth movement is a Sarabond. That's the slow jam out of the mix. 
I love it. It's a, based on a Spanish dance in three. It's slow. It's it's uh, it's it's um, you'll hear it. It'll be great. And keep in mind also the Saraban, because then the next piece on the program, the Casado, the whole first movement is based on Saraban rhythm. The Bore, that's next. It's it's a uh, very lively and like a human adventure, um, <laughs> is what I would call it. And it has in the middle of it, uh, after you're running around all over the place, going through your day, it has a very funny little country dance. <laughs> Last movement, number six out of six, is a gigue. That's like a, based on an Irish dance, box take on an Irish dance. And it's really funny to me that it goes through a lot of the same world that you encountered in the first movement, but it's like rather than walking through it, you are dancing through it. Um, that's all I'm going to say, but I hope you enjoy Bach's fourth cello suite. I hope someone will... Okay, good. It sounds like some people are getting audio. Um, wish you all the best of luck with it, Lorraine. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
streaming you you gotta kind of make your own make your own applause <laughs> oh man I'm sorry Lorraine I'm very sorry to hear that uh, sound isn't coming through for you um, but I do see the bars moving on my end the little sound readout bars so I hope it's happening for other folks Thanks, Sylvia. Uh, I'm living in the future by a little bit. Um, so I just realized as I finished, um, you all were still watching the last few minutes of my performance. But that's, <laughs> that's, the, funny, that's the funny age that we live in. Um, for anybody who's just tuning in, uh, this is me. I'm James. I play cello. Uh, maybe if some of you subscribe, we can get my YouTube into the double digits here. <laughs> And, oh, thanks, Kyle. And um, what else can I tell you? I'm, I'm just, I'm having a great time today. I'm, this is great, great music to play um, for cello. It's uh, something that you'll find in common with both of these pieces. Um, whenever you write a great big suite uh, for cello and it sticks around, part of it is because it's pushed the boundaries of the instrument. So what we just heard was written in the 1720s for ba uh, by Bach for this thing, this cello. I mean, not this one specifically. The cello it was a new invention, you know? Uh, four strings, a lot more power than the gamba, which is kind of its predecessor. And like push the capabilities of the instrument. Um, and so hold that thought because we're gonna come back to it when I introduce the next piece I wanna play. Um, so hold the thought of cello pushing capabilities. Uh, I wanted to tell you where I am <laughs> and uh, sort of introduce this awesome space that I'm getting to use for today. Um, we're in the art studio of San Francisco artist Peggy Gulai, and she's very, uh, She's somebody that I've collaborated with um, in the past on, on music plus visual art projects. If you want to check out, you can search Parallel Play SF on Facebook. And that's this great thing that she does, which is Parallel Play, when it comes to music and art, is exactly what it sounds like, which is um, a sort of cross inspiration of uh, music and, and visual art. And I, I love the whole thing because I very much believe that there's this um, source of energy and creativity that artists get to tap into. And uh, then it may come out as a painting, it may come out as a composer, depending on it in whose hands. Um, so uh, a great example of that is what you're seeing behind me. Um, what is behind me is a new painting. I'll show you. 
be over. <laughs> uh, it's called City of Gold. And it is, uh, a, unlike, well, a lot of Peggy's work has been inspired by um, musical compositions. This one is inspiring musical responses. So be sure and not look out for not only my contributions to it, which is going to be like an augmented reality video of some of the Casado, the suite that I'm about to play you. Um, also, Gloria Justin is a great um, a string player here in San Francisco. She's going to be making her own um, musical contribution to this uh, City, of, City of God painting that you see behind me. Um, I wasn't sure originally when Peggy asked me how I'd like to respond to this piece, to, to this art piece, and I started improvising and I started, eventually I took a really weird side tack and wrote a little poetry called City of God, inspired by the painting, and that helped me come back and sort of unblock a few things in my own classical repertoire that I thought, oh, now I sort of see why the piece I'm about to play you could be a really great pairing for this painting. But I'd be really curious to hear your reactions too. So um, hop back into the Zoom uh, after, uh, after we finish playing, because I'm I just, um, there's, as you all know, there's just not a right or a wrong way to take in art. Okay, so let's do it. This Casado Suite. Um, I love it. Oh my goodness. It's such a different world from the Bach, though. Um, but I, the thought I told you to hold was pushing the capabilities of the instrument forward. So Gaspar Casado, he was actually a Spanish cellist. So it, what he does is, is almost, uh, you know, like when Paganini writes for the violin, uh, it's meant to go on that instrument, and yet it's also really difficult. <laughs> and that's the feeling I have playing this piece. He's, he's asking the cellist to do a lot of things, but when you, when you play it, it, get, it lets you into his world as a cellist. It lets you feel like how this guy would have played the cello, which I find fascinating. This piece comes from the 19-teens in that sort of magical time in Paris, uh, when all the cool people were hanging out in Paris like... Uh, all the Picasso was there, Ravel was there. Um, you get the idea. Casado actually studied composition with Ravel, and this piece has a, a quote from Ravel's um, ballet music, Daphnis and, and Chloe. And uh, it's in three movements, and they're all based on Spanish dances, which has to be a nod to Bach, basing all his Bach suite movements on dances. In fact, the first one is a good tie-in to the Bach, Remember this thing. So that rhythm, the Sarabande rhythm, becomes um, is also the rhythm that Casado used through the whole first movement, but he plays with it very loosely and turns it into a, a fantasia, he calls it. So it's a very stream of consciousness thing. The second movement is a Sardana. I was looking at Sardanas on YouTube. They're like, uh, there's this piccolo riff, the beginning, that is def also the same as in this piece I'm gonna play you. And then it's like a whole dance party and you can picture people in rings, like holding hands, dancing in a Spanish square. The last movement, I gotta be honest, I thought it was a dance to the death. <laughs> and I thought that was kinda cool. You know, like uh, Rite of Spring, if you ever get to check that orchestra piece out, it has, a wonder, it has an amazing dance to the death in, or death in the maiden, the, the Schubert Quartet, they have these things. So I thought I knew what was up, and I, I went to look it up, but the dance it's based on, a Hota, is about love. It's about love, you guys. Uh, so that's what the third movement is about. But in, in whatever case it is, it's definitely very exciting. It's not a, it's not a boring romance, I'll tell you that. And I um, hope you enjoy Casaro Cello Suite. Good, I'm just checking the thing. Yay, audio coming through for some people. Okay.
Thank mm-hmm. you. 
cello written by um, Spanish composer Gaspar Casado um, that final movement is the jota that's the that's a that's a Spanish dance um, thank you all so much for tuning in either via YouTube or group news um, I'm gonna just stay here for a couple seconds and check if there yet yeah, anybody has any questions that I can answer in the chat uh, but if not, I hope you will all go either back to the group news page or the description here because uh, there's a Zoom hang um, where you can sort of uh, ask anything else that you were uh, curious about today. Going over here. Uh, a hiccup, but a page reload will help. Good. Okay, so overall, it looks like audio is coming through okay. Uh, so I think I think we're in a good spot, but uh, again, I want to um, I want to give a huge thanks to Jeremy who's over here and Peggy who's over here um, But this is a, a wonderful uh, as you can tell this is such a beautiful art studio space to play in for you today uh, Thanks for spending some of your Sunday over here uh, And like I say, I'm gonna go see you in the zoom. So Thanks for being here <laughs> 